In this video, we're going to see the templates in the Oxygen Builder. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This uh, series of videos and this video, of course, is for beginners. So if you're coming from another page builder like Elementor, then you may face some problems and you don't know how to begin working with Oxygen. You can go inside a page and start building the website that you want by but you may face some problems uh, because of the template system and how it works. So basically, uh, because Oxygen disabled the theme, everything must be uh, created from the beginning. So you have to create uh, a template for the main uh, header and footer. You have to create a template for the posts, a template for the blog, a template for the 404 page, a template for the search results and everything else that you want. Uh, if you were using uh, a page builder like Elementor and you have, uh, if you had installed a theme, uh, in most cases the theme would create all those templates for you. So here we have uh, installed the theme Astra because I wanted to have something installed here. And if I go here to the uh, home page and refresh the page, I can see that I have the header, and here I have the logo and the menu. This is the header area. And of course, down here I have the footer. All of those are coming from the template that Astra has installed inside here. And I just add my logo and add the menu that I want. Everything else is handled from the theme. If I go to the blog page and refresh the page, sorry for that, that is how Oxygen is working. Okay. And here is the blog page that you can see. And this is how the template is working from the Astra. And I have all those three elements here, the three blogs. If I go to a single blog, refresh the page, I can see the blog that I have here with the image and the title and the content underneath. And if I go to another page and refresh here, that page doesn't exist. So I have the 404 page, which says that this page does not seem to exist. All of those are coming from the theme. Now let's go here, let's activate the 1021 because I'm going to delete the Astra later on. And let's go into the plugins, install plugins. Of course, if you haven't used Oxygen at all, you have to go into the permalinks first and select this to be the post name. This is the most important thing to do. And then we have to go into the plugins and select the add new. Select then the upload plugin and then grab uh, the plugin, the Oxygen latest version. Uh, drag it here and click install now. Remember to select only the latest uh, stable version of Oxygen and install that to a live website. Do not uh, install beta or alpha version because something most likely will break. If you want to test alpha or beta version, do that in your local environment. Activate plugin uh, here, or if you want to test, you can do it in a test website, but not in a live website. Okay. Now that we have this uh, Oxygen installed, if I go now to the themes again, appearance and themes, you will see that they are grayed out. And here it says that uh, Oxygen that is using its entirely disabled WordPress theme system. And I can go into the Astra and delete that. I don't want to have more than one theme inside here because I don't want the themes to take space of my website. Okay, it doesn't, it, they're not too big, but this is how I work. Okay, uh, as you can see, it's not gray out anymore because it's not in the grid layout, but it's definitely disabled as you can see right here. If I go now to the home page and refresh, you will see that I don't longer I no longer have the header. As you can see, I don't have the logo or the menu. I just have the title of the page. And if I go down here, that it it should be the footer. I don't have anything here at the bottom of the page. If I go to the blog and refresh, you will see the image that I have before, the page that I have before. This is the blog page and I have the blogs here with the title and the content, but I don't have the image and I don't have any buttons to go inside. If I go to a single blog and refresh the page, I will see that it's full width again. I have the name and the content, but I don't have the image or anything else. And of course, it's not looking good. And if I go to the 404 page and refresh the page, I will see that I have a blank page at all because I don't have header, footer or anything else to grab inside here. So 
the first thing that you have to do in Oxygen is go, of course, into the settings and then go into the license and put your license inside here. So in order to get updates and then we're going into the templates. Here is where you have to create the templates in order for the website to work correctly. Uh, if you don't have any blogs, if you don't have any uh, categories, anything else, if you don't have articles at all, you have to create two templates. Every website needs two templates in order to work correctly with Oxygen. The first is the template that handles the header and the footer. And the second template is the one that handles the 404 pages because you don't want uh, people that misspelling something uh, end up with a blank page. Of course, it will have the header and the footer, but it will not have anything inside here. So uh, in order to create a template, you have to create to click the add new template. Here, you're going to give it a name uh, for the basic template that handles the header foot, the footer, the header and the footer. Sorry, uh, I name it as main. And you can name it uh, whatever you want. You can name it header and footer. You can name it basic template or something. But remember what it is. So if you visit the website again in six months or so, you will remember what is what. So give it a name here. And if it's this the main template, you have to go here that says other and select the cuts all. This means that it will cut all the website, all the pages, all the posts, uh, blog uh, categories or anything else that you have inside here. If you are creating a 404 template, then you have to select the 404 from here. If you are creating a single template, you have to go and select from Singular the post because this is the post template. If you are creating an archive template, the archive is the uh, page that has all the posts inside here. This is how it's named archive. Then you have to go into the archive here and select from the post types the posts here so you have the archive now when you're creating a template and you need the header and the footer from the main template or the template how you named it you have to go and click here the uh, first template that you have so whenever i create the 404 or single or archive i have to go here and select the basic template that i have created for the header and the footer again uh, all of those we're going to see it in a later on video. This is basically how the templates are working and the main difference between another uh, builder, if you're coming from an Elementor or something else, into this builder and you don't know how to begin. Because all the other builders, they are uh, basically uh, have a theme and they're grabbing something from the theme. You can change the header and the footer with the builder but when you start you have something to begin with and this is something that you might be scared in oxygen because it's a different approach whatsoever so that was the video uh, for the templates please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this if you have a question put it in the comments below and i'm sure going to answer it and i will see you all in the next video also give me a thumbs up if you like the video and thanks for watching guys and bye